Hello Aquarius, it's L here to do a piece of hair. It's L here to do a love reading for you this week, um, the week of the 15th, August 15th. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so um, shuffling off camera, what I got for you, Aquarius, was um, this shit again or, or, or this cycle again? I don't know. Something hasn't changed, okay? And, and uh, I think you know it. And some of you are continuing to stay in something that is not changing just out of sheer hope and investment you don't want to let it go you feel like it can go to forever type of life partner soulmate twin flame situation I don't know you, you more so feel like this is your person this is your life person this is the person you're going to be with um, but there's no change that has happened in the connection you just keep going or someone just keeps giving uh, but there's nothing changing and also the, some of you have uh, come to the determination that um and it was a big emotional decision you had to make but just to walk away you, it, almost like self-preservation if you if you stayed any longer you, you would have died in it. And, and not a physical death. Maybe some of you, you were in some volatile type of, you know, physical violence. I don't know. But for some of you, it's the proverbial death. You know, the death of, of yourself, of what you want for yourself, your goals, your aspirations in terms of a relationship. They would have died because you were not getting what you wanted, what you felt you deserved. Um, so it was more so like you just finished up the connection. You let it kind of dissipate. You finished up and you've moved on now into a journey where you just don't know what's next. You can't see what's next, but you know that staying in that connection would have gotten you nowhere fast. Um, also, you felt like you spent a lot of, you spent your wheels with this person. We know a wheel goes in a circle, right? And um, a cycle is a what? Most times a circle. So you spent many cycles uh, just spinning your wheels, going in a circle with this person, nothing changing. Day in, day out, year in, year out, nothing changing. Uh, therefore, you felt powerless because you were putting your power in a circle nothing, and no change. So a lot of you have decided to take your power back, get out of the circle, and go into something new, um, something linear, where you just don't know what's hap what's going to manifest for you, but you're hoping for the best. Uh, you have the best intentions for yourself, and you've set them. I think you, just, you had to redirect and reconnect. But anyway, that was a very long channel message, and it was for somebody. So I hope some of you took something from it. So let's see how Aquarius is coming into the reading. Okay, there we go. I knew it. The Eight of Pentacles. And, and look how the, the Eight Pentacles are aligned in a what? A circle, a cycle. Some of you, um, you, you just have invested over and over and over again. You've given chance after chance after chance and nothing has changed. Nothing about the person, nothing about the relationship. Some of you are getting out of the cycle. Some of you are still in it because in the channel message, I did hear this shit again. You know, so I don't know if you're going through the same shit again. Um, the rain is happening outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Um, I'll be quiet. I don't know if you can hear the rain outside. But um, when I think of that, um, I think of cleansing. Some of you just need to cleanse from this negative energy. Take part in the full moon manifestation coming up on the 22nd. Um, you can get a part of 
be a part of that um, full moon ritual uh, where we will banish, bring in new energy uh, also. So anyway, take part of that. And it's funny how these are all moons, moon cycles. You see that? All moon cycles. Um, so you have been, so this relationship was cyclical. Some of you gave more than the other person or you are giving more than the other person. You are more invested. You are more invested to see it through, to see this life partnership, see it through, see it, you know, to get in married. Some of you marry a person later in life, you know, um, Yes, yeah, some of you married, you got married later in life uh, here with the Eight of Pentacles or you or you will be marrying later in life or you wanted to marry a particular person. Maybe that you were in some cyclical, uh, you know, some cyclical relationship with. Uh, I don't I don't see the turnover, though. It's not turning over. It's like you, you know, you have a, a car that is you know, on its last leg and you're trying to turn the ignition over. You want it to catch so the car can start up, but you just keep turning. You just keep turning that key. You keep pushing that button or whatever type of car you have. Um, you just keep turning it and it, it's not firing. And that's all you've been doing in this relationship is turning the ignition. I'm not laughing at you, Aquarius. I am laughing with you. 